I see you be thugging, you heard me? Gunsmoke. I like how you be thugging, you heard me? What's up, YouTube? And it's your boy, Pinnacle Prince. And today, I'm back at it with another story time. And this story time is taking my first L with my best friend. Alright, not to hold y'all up. I'm going to start from the beginning. Alright, so... I'm a man. I, I take L's, you know. I, I take some L's. Got to take L's to learn. Especially when I'm depressed. So, I was going through my little depressed days. You know, a breakup happens. And... I, I ended up getting a best friend to, like, talk to at night and stuff just because, you know, got to have someone to talk to while you're depressed. Or else you're just going to be sitting there. So, we talking, we talking. Just be talking for days. You know, the stuff best friends do. We, but we had never met before. So, I'm just talking to her, telling her about my problems and stuff. You know, she telling me about hers. You know, just going back and forth doing that. And uh, eventually we got to the point where we started talking to each other on the phone. Because, like, why not? It's my best friend. So I started to get a little, get to know a little bit more about her. I was 16 at the time. She was 17. But I didn't know that until we became best friends. Found out she was, like, in her last year of school. Like, she was going into her last year of school. And I was going into my 11th grade year. So that was dope. Uh, yeah, so we we was talking, we talking, we talking, and what happened after that? After all that time, we started making plans to like see each other, like just you know to chill, hang out, cause like I don't like staying in the house all the time, so do that. So we had planned for some day. And mind you, she didn't live by me. She didn't live by me at all. She lived by the airport, which is pretty far from where I live. And, yeah, so, you know. Uh, I had ended up getting less depressed because, like, I say, like, a couple of days before that or a week before that, I I hit this 19-year-old. That's a story time for another time. So, you know, I started getting happy I, I, because, like, I started to realize that, you know, depression ain't it. It's no point. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I get over her house. Like, no. I ended up having to get my mom to take me because at this time I'm 16. I have my license at the moment. And I ended up getting my mom to take me over there. And, you know, she was telling me y'all better not be doing nothing. But I told her we not because, like, in my mind... I never planned, like, my best friend, not to judge her, but she wasn't the best looking, like, she, my first L, like, <laughs> she was, she was something. When you're depressed, you do a lot of different things. <laughs> so, my mom driving me, we on our way, start to realize how far this girl lives, like, this girl lives by the airport, and I live in Raleigh, so, I was sitting there bored. Uh, we pull up to our house. Like our house is. Our house on the outside looks kind of big. But our house itself like inside is small. And she like lived up on a hill. Yeah so. We pull up. I'm, I'm trying to get out the car. I'm like you sure you want to get out? Like you sure you want to go in there? Because it's not. Her house did not look that good but. I don't care, like, that's just, we all go through it. So, yeah, I get out. Man, she got two big dogs in front. <laughs> and one thing about me, I do not play around dogs. I do not know, like, she had two big dogs <laughs> in the front of her yard just sitting there. I forgot if they was on a leash. Nah, they was on a leash. I'm like, man, you got to, hell no, nah, I'm not going to go up there. I'm talking about, I'm sitting, I'm standing like, no, I'm standing like in the front of her driveway. She come outside, she grabbed a dog right next. I'm like, you got them? She was like, yeah, I got, no, she came down and met my mom first. They spoke for a little bit. 
And I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't go up there and not let them dogs put up. And she was like, she had just went up there and she had put them up. She grabbed them by the necks and like, she didn't even put them up. She, she stood in the corner with both of them in her hands. And waited for me to walk by. Yo, I was so scared. Like, these is not small dogs at all. These dogs, like, standing, like, on my waist. No, not on my waist, but, like, a little bit above my knees. And barking loud as hell. One a pit bull, one a Labrador. And hell no, I did not play that. Like, not gonna get bit by no dog. So I walk past her. I go in her house. Uh, and then I guess she lets him go and then she comes in. So, you know, we, we introduced ourselves because, like, even though we had talked previously, this had been our first time, like, seeing each other in person. You know, we introduced ourselves. You know, she's real shy. Like, I guess she didn't expect me to be so open to talk to her. Because it was our first time, but like she was real shy. So she's sitting on one couch, I'm sitting on the other. And we just talking to each other like, so what you wanna do? Like I'm telling her like what you wanna do? We wanna watch movies, wanna talk, like, what's up? Talk like cause she's she was just being shy, I was like, talk. She was like, I mean it don't matter to me. Yo, for some reason all almost all girls that I've ever met like saying that like it don't matter to me. Man, if you don't speak your mind, speak your damn mind. So, she's like, it don't matter to me. I'm like, so I'm just sitting there because I don't know what to do. I've never even been on a house before. Like, how am I supposed to know what to do in your house? She, she was, uh, we was just sitting there. But I came up with an idea. I was like, all right, let's just watch Netflix. Like, not say let's watch TV. But she had she only had Netflix, so that's what we ended up watching. I forgot what we watched though. Like, bro, I think we turned on Animal Planet. <laughs> like the mood was so weird. It was so weird. I've never been so weirded out in my life just to sit there and just not do nothing. Like talk, go outside, I guess. Just anything. It's weird. And so, we sit there, watch Animal Planet. I think it was Animal Planet. And, uh, happened after that. I think we had started talking about, like, her mom and her getting a job, I guess. I believe so. That's what we started talking about. And, uh, you know, I don't know what led up to it, but somehow we got on the topic of, like, her, if she was a virgin or not. And she had sounded surprised when I said it, like, huh? What you mean? It's like, are you a virgin? And she had ended up saying no, which I didn't care about. Now, it's one thing I knew for sure. I was not about to go with her. So I didn't care at all if she was a virgin or not. Like, To be honest, I was acting just for fun because it was boring. I didn't know what to talk about. So she ended up saying no. I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. So, I was like, oh, so you turning up? Then she had started giggling or something. I was dead serious, though. Like, she turned up. She lied. I don't really see why, I, like, why would you want to be a virgin? Just for what? It's boring. <laughs> you missing out on a world for nothing. So, I guess the mood is a little bit more awkward now because, like, I asked her about that. So, she's completely thrown off at this point yeah at this point she is completely thrown off so we sitting there again in silence just you know like 
you look at someone, but you don't want them knowing you looking at them because it just don't feel right. So like, you like looking at them through the corner of your eye. And all right, so once again, thinking back on it, I don't know what made me go forward to have the plan of having sex with her, but it happened. Like, so we sitting there, and man, she just like. Uh, I was like, I think I had said, have you ever given head before? And she was like, nah. And then that was crazy to me because when she said she lost her virginity, I always believed like head was like, like necessary. Like, why wouldn't you give head for like? How the hell I'm supposed to just be hard just looking at you, especially her. I don't mean to down her in any way, but not my type. Just depression hit hit home a little bit. So <laughs> my brain made it my type, I guess. <laughs> so you know, I started talking all like it's cool, you know. You would you probably enjoy it. If you never tried it, you probably enjoy it. So like <laughs> she had got real shy. Like this this is so funny to me, like how shy she was. She she was completely shy at this point. Like you thought us sitting on different couches, like barely talking was shy, man. This girl was like shy shy. So I'm just talking to her. At some point, she ended up going in the back room. I don't know, being dramatic or something. Just she went back there, I guess, to make it seem like she was really thrown off. That part was really dramatic to me. Like, why'd you go in the back room? Just, I'm still here. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes girls do some weird stuff to me. So I ended up going back there talking to her. We come back in the front room. And we like sitting on different couches again. And you know, just trying to ease her up. Like she she was so shy and tense for no reason. Like I'm I'm a real chill person. She was I don't know. Shy for no reason. So just trying to ease up her mood, you know, make her a little bit more chill. And yeah. Somehow, I ended up coming over on her her couch where she was sitting, and uh, kept talking to her, and then you know pulled it out. She was like hesitant at first, like she was just still being shy. Don't know why. Like we're already there. We're here now. <laughs> we here now. Like. But she was shy for a little bit longer. And then like after a while she like she finally started. Like she started giving me head. And it's like even though she had never did it before, as soon as she put her mouth on me, this girl could not stop. Like like she probably, I was thinking she probably was lying to me. She was enjoying it. Like, like enjoying it. It was the first time I ever just really seen a girl, well, just felt like a girl was enjoying giving head. Man, she, she, she in her front room going crazy, going dumb. <laughs> I'm just standing up, looking down like, I'm thinking to myself, for you to never have done this before, you you happy as hell, like, I, I'm like, alright, 
<laughs> so you know, I'm sitting back. I'm just enjoying time. <laughs> oh man. And uh, after a while, her like. Come to think of it, the 19-year-old, I ended up seeing her after this. But after she got finished giving me head, like, she was she was not shy anymore. Like, she already knew what the drill was. Like, it was time. And this ain't nothing that I'm proud of. But it happened. So, like. You know, I bring me some condoms. Because, like, I always keep condoms on me. Like, back then, I always kept condoms on me. Like, I don't trust nobody. Not unless I go with you. Even if you could be my best friend, I wouldn't trust you. Not unless I go with you. And back then, I only ever went with virgins. If they weren't virgins, it's because I took it. So, I, I kept condoms around. So, you know, I slide on the condom. She ready, I'm ready. We get into it. Yo, this girl, even though she wasn't a virgin, this girl had started bleeding. And it wasn't her period, like, because I know, I know when a girl is on her period. Let's just say that much. So she starts bleeding. I look down, I see her bleeding. I look at my shirt. See, I got a black shirt on, so I was, I just left it alone. It was cool. But I had gray pants on. But at the time, I ain't seen nothing, so it was cool. We still going at it. And, you know, eventually my brain took control of my body. Like, and looking at her. Talk about it, L. <laughs> I talk about it, L, man. So I... I didn't win soft on her. <laughs> I didn't win soft on her for real. <laughs> so I had just made up any excuse. Like I was asking her, you good? You straight? You tired? <laughs> and then I was like, I think it's time for me to go. I had made up some excuse on why it was time for me to go. <laughs> and uh, so we finished. I get to pulling up my pants. Mind you, I said I had gray pants on. Yo, my whole gray pants was bloody. Like, it was straight bloody. So I'm like, oh, I'm looking down like, oh, crap. What am I about to do? Like, niggas gonna see me with my pants bloodied up. But to be honest with you, I really didn't care because, mind you, this is my first time getting some after... The ex. And man. <laughs> I was so geek. Like I was happy as hell. For the, like. I guess I had realized that. Stuff was going to be alright. I don't know. It was weird. But. Yeah. I realized stuff was going to be straight. Like I don't even know why I was tripping. That's what I told myself. So yeah. Uh, I'm happy, but I ain't gonna let her know how happy I am because she doesn't know why I'm this happy. Or she really wouldn't have understand why I'm that happy. Cause it wasn't from her. It was just the experience that I needed. So we say our goodbyes and stuff. Cause I ended up walking into like a church's chicken around the corner from her house to get picked up. Cause I didn't feel like staying there anymore. Cause it was awkward like it was way too awkward for me so I'm walking to <laughs> I'm walking to this church is happy as hell singing and all like I could not stop smiling I did not care that I had blood on my pants I was happy as hell it was crazy how happy I was real so I'm, I'm standing up at this church is playing music just damn near dancing and I don't dance 
<laughs> Man, I really don't dance, so that I was happy as hell. And you know, I waited there to pick up my ride. And I mean for my rides to come pick me up. And uh they got there and uh <laughs> I got in the car smiling hard as hell. Like, I was smiling hard as hell. It wasn't for her. It was just like, they, my family knew I was smiling. It's because, like, it's what I just went through. Like, man, that was, that was not pleasant. <laughs> that depression stuff was not pleasant. Like, so getting what I got is like, I was just happy about it if I could. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, Rod picked me up. Uh, They was like, what's up with you? Why are you so happy? Because I had already told them. I didn't plan on going over there to do nothing. And I don't lie to my family. Because I really did not expect it. I, I didn't plan on doing nothing. So, when I got in there. I was like, yeah, I ended up getting some. <laughs> Hey, my brother and that, my brother was laughing. My sister was laughing. No, actually, my sister didn't go. It was my brother and his ex. They was laughing because they didn't really understand why I was just happy. You know, I knew why I was that happy. So I got to explain it like how like why I was happy and. He was like, I told you, all you had to do was get something, like, and he was right, but I for sure did not want it to be with her, like, at all. <laughs> she was meant to just be my best friend, but I tweaked out, no lie, I tweaked out. Was just like, hey, what, what you gonna do? But anyway, that's my story time. Of how I took my first sale with my best friend. I thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Pinnacle Prince. Signing out. I, I, I just made the trunk trade places with the hood. I, I got that check and I ran. I got so good with the money. Can't count this shit one hand. I